Hello everyone, Monty here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a banana cinnamon whole wheat waffle bowl filled with fruit and then drizzled with a chocolate PB2. It's a gorgeous uh, breakfast. It's my breakfast. I'm doing intermittent fasting right now. So it's a lap for 12. I can throw this together really quickly. My waffle recipes are all pretty much the same. I just alternate different flour types, whether I'm adding uh, cocoa powder to make a chocolate version or not. Today we're not going to add cocoa powder, but we are going to use a banana, which I always use, a half a ripe banana for the sweetener rather than using sugar. I don't like eating refined sugar. And um, this also could be a dessert. It's really something really beautiful and um, very easy to make. So first of all, I have this waffle maker. I have this kind of older one, this Presto that I bought on Amazon a couple of years ago, maybe three, four years ago. Um, Target sells the waffle bowl makers next to the waffles and the mini little waffles, the Dash brand. I like the Dash brand because they're pretty. They're all different colors. I like modern, colorful looking stuff. So I bought this online before I knew that Target had them. So when this one dies, definitely want to buy one of the Dash cool looking ones. Um, but you can see they just have a big hole where, oops, you gotta be careful. I just burned myself because the um, top was hot. Um, this is preheating. It just looks like this inside. Kind of funky looking um, but to make the waffle bowl all you need is the waffle bowl maker so we're going to make the batter first while this is still preheating so i always use a quarter cup to start off my recipe with flour i like i like eating really whole wheat i don't like using white flour sometimes i make a corn waffle bowl and i actually fill it with chicken and um, and beans and corn and then drizzle some salsa verde on it so it could be a lunch meal um, but I'm making this breakfast one because I feel like having something sweet this morning and the peach chocolate PB2 is a little sweet. It only has two grams of sugar, but it gives a little sweetness there. So I start off with a quarter cup of the flour and I'm using a whole wheat flour. All my waffle recipes start with a quarter cup of whether it's a flour or cornmeal or whatever. And we're going to put that in there. And then um, what we're going to do next is I need, oh, I need my... Uh, spoon here, wasn't ready for this. And so we're gonna take the um, one half ripe mashed banana. Now I had a couple of bananas that were looked like they were gonna go bad. So I just wrapped them in a paper towel and put them in the refrigerator, took one out and cut it in half and mashed it. And this is gonna be great, nice and sweet for the waffle. Then I separated an egg white and I'm gonna throw my egg white in. I like using egg whites now rather than whole eggs. Um, and then now the next thing we're gonna do is put in a quarter cup, a quarter, excuse me, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder to help it rise. There we go, so it's a, and then a quarter cup of water. So I'm gonna fill this up with water. quarter cup of water and because we're making a whole wheat banana cinnamon I'm just gonna sprinkle in a little bit of cinnamon okay there we go and now we are ready to mix it up and make sure I have all my ingredients Smells so good, the cinnamon, oh, it smells so good. And now you see it looks like waffle batter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it into the waffle bowl maker, but I gotta be careful touching this because this thing was hot, it burned my finger. Um, always gotta be careful with the waffle irons. I'm gonna spray the top and spray the inside, and then we're just gonna pour the batter in. It's this simple. Now I'm gonna close it. Alexa, set timer for three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. So it's gonna cook for three minutes. While it's cooking, I always clean up my workspace a little bit, get a little more organized here. And then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna put inside because I did prep some stuff before I turned the camera on. So what I'm gonna put inside the waffle bowl is I've got some organic strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries. And then once the waffle bowl is done, I'm going to um, I'm going to put the fruit inside, and then we're going to drizzle 
the chocolate PB2 mixed with water, which looks like a chocolate syrup. For those of you who don't know what PB2 is, it's powdered peanut butter with 85% less calories and fat than regular peanut butter. This is the chocolate flavor, so they add um, cocoa to it, and it's really good. So when I mixed it, and I may need to mix it on, it looks like the consistency is good. Sometimes when it sits out on the counter, it gets really thick, you gotta add a little more water. So I made this about 10 minutes ago. I just mixed two tablespoons of the chocolate PB2 with some water. And you have to add it slowly because I don't know when it's like the temperature affects it, the air in the room affects it. Sometimes I'll add two tablespoons of this and two tablespoons of water and it's too thin. And then sometimes I'll do it the next time and it's too thick. I never can figure it out. So I just keep adding it slowly because I measured the two tablespoons, which is 50 calories. And I don't wanna make it too thin and then have to add more product in, which will add more calories. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the camera off because um, waffle bowl is going to finish and then I'm going to take it out and show you how I plate the dish and how I make the dish. Okay, the timer just went off, so I'm going to unplug my waffle bowl maker. I'm going to take it out. It smells really good. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. And see, it just popped right out. It just popped right out. It was so easy. And look, it's a bowl made out of a waffle. How Awesome is that? Your kids would love that. So what I'm gonna do now, let me, uh, I'm not gonna touch this without a mitt because I burned myself before. And what we're gonna do is just on the inside of the waffle, I'm gonna start putting the fruit. I've got my organic strawberries. I'll do layers of everything. Let's put some blueberries, strawberries, blackberries inside of there. put whatever fruit you want in here. Okay, that's more than enough. Look how beautiful that is. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drizzle. I got two little pieces of fruit left. Of course, I'm going to eat that. And now we're going to take our chocolate PB2 and we're just going to drizzle it. I like to go back and forth. Sometimes I go in both directions. Just drizzle it on top. Boy, that looks beautiful. I'm gonna go take a picture of that and I'm gonna post it. But I did wanna tell you it's only 312 calories. I don't wanna pick it up because it's gonna ruin it. 312 calories, a half a banana for 53 calories, one quarter cup of the whole wheat flour, 120 calories, one egg white, 17 calories, two tablespoons of chocolate PB2, 50 calories, five strawberries, 45 calories, seven pieces of blackberry, 15 calories, and 15 blueberries for 12 calories. Well, I'm gonna go eat this. It looks beautiful, and I'm going to post it. Mm, chocolate PB2, so good. Hope you enjoyed today's instructional video on how to make a uh, banana cinnamon whole wheat waffle bowl with fruit and drizzled with PB2.